Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Amber Rock. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link. Right there is my QR code. You can scan with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to my free app. You will get home straight from the MLS before they hit sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. Really quickly though, I'm gonna pan real fast for you. Check this out. Check out the views up here. I'm gonna zoom in. Right there is Lake Las Vegas. So today we are up in Lake Las Vegas and fun fact, it's actually in Henderson. They also have townhomes, but look at this. They like carved it into the mountain out here. Now, like I say in all of my new tours, if you are thinking about buying a new home, considering buying a new home, or you want to buy a new home, call me first. First thing, before you fill out information online, before you call the builder, before you go and look at the models and speak with the associates, because if you go in without me coming with you the first time, you're gonna work directly with the associates and they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. They have the builder's fiduciary responsibility. So again, if you want representation and fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So give me a call again, all my info down below. This is pretty cool. Oh, the views though, oh, wow. So again, we are up here at Amber Rock in Lake Las Vegas. This is a Richmond American build. Today, we're gonna be looking at the boxwood. Now I have filmed this one in other communities. Again, this one is anywhere between 1780 to 1820 square feet, two story, three to four bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. This one starts at 428,950. Now there is an HOA out here. There's actually two since you have Lake Las Vegas plus the community itself, it is gated. This is 234 a month for the HOA. Now coming on in right here, this is the two car garage, but I'm gonna come inside really quickly. Don't want the door to slam. Now again, do me that huge, huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. It really, really helps the channel out. Right here, I'm guessing coat closet. I love the modern handles. Ooh, yep, storage and coat closet. Also, if you wanna stay up to date, I try to put new tours out every single day, so make sure to subscribe. Now, they did a lot in here. They did the eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings. There's quite a few options in here. They did the slider. But before we check out downstairs, they did the double slider. Nice, nice home. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. So quite a few options in here. Flooring's upgraded. Coming right here, here's our powder room. And I filmed this over in, where was I? Cadence. They had the exact same model, but they didn't do the nine foot ceilings. This felt like a cave. So here it's mm, seven and a half, almost eight foot. Cause this is a six foot eight door. So it's almost eight feet. And up there, it was like a cave. Plus they put really, really dark fixtures. Here's our vanity. Just the standard bumpers, but they are upgraded cabinets. You can tell they're the more modern looking. We have our countertop and again, upgraded. We have our undermounted sink. We don't have the vanity lights on, so it will be even brighter in here. Let me turn those ones. Wow, it's, it's bright in here. I know I always complain about lighting in bedrooms, but this is awesome. Here's your toilet. Nice powder room, especially with how bright those lights are. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please, please, please give me a call. Again, all my contact info down in the description. Nice upgrade. Normally you're gonna get a pony wall. They decided to do the railing and it's the wood with metal. Kind of a mix of modern. I like this railing. So I know you can do the fourth bedroom. Here's where the fourth bedroom would be. Now, which way do we wanna go? Let's start off this way. And I just filmed this home as well up in Northeast, so in North Las Vegas. Oh, what was the community called? It was Summit Peak or Summit Knoll. It was one of those two and it had it. And they're putting those models on the market in like three weeks. So again, if you like this home, but you wanna be in North Las Vegas, give me a call. They did the built-ins with the same counters as in the powder room. We have the uppers, the 36 inch uppers. I do like the extra storage. And this area is pretty good size. See if you're landing. Again, they upgraded to eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings upstairs as well. First bedroom is big. Both windows open. Normally you're just gonna get a pre-wire cap. They added the can lighting. I love it. 
I'm such a fan of extra lighting. Sometimes these rooms feel so dark and dim. Not the case with this one. It's a big room. Also, while we're here, that's a phone line hookup. And right here is our uh, ethernet and cable. Now there is a box. I probably missed it in the coat closet since there was so much storage already in there. But all of those will connect in that box. You put the router and modem in there and then you don't have any problems. You can hardline things. Nice, big room. This is probably like an extra three feet deep compared to like a standard room. Right here we have our walk-in closet and it is nice size. Again, if you need more spacing, move the bar and shelf up, add a second one. So far, we are off to a very, very nice start. Ooh, I like this. Would you do the three bedroom or the four bedroom? Do you like the loft or would you want the extra bedroom? I know I've asked it before and most people actually like the loft. And I tend to agree, just a little bit more informal space right here. Second bedroom and it's quite a bit smaller than that first one, but by no means is this small. Both windows open. Again, they added the can lighting and we have a full size bed, two nightstands. It's just super clean. I'm gonna come over here so you can see it from here. Again, with all these mountains, how cool is this? I wonder what this will look like. That's gonna be neat with the little roundabout. And if we spin back around, we have our two door closet. So not a walk-in, not as big. That first bedroom was really, really large. Coming on out and around, right here we have our upstairs bathroom. So upgraded flooring, again, upgraded counters, countertops. Nice double vanity. And they have those same lights as before. Now this is kind of nice that they can close it off. So if you want to be in the shower, someone still can brush their teeth, but I know a lot of people, they've even commented and said that they wish this was just more open and not having a door here. We have our toilet. The thing that will get this kind of, mm, and you can't notice it now, but usually these doors open in. So it gets a little tricky. You almost have to stand over here or in the tub to get out, but they did a nice job. Fiberglass composite tub. Standard would be fiberglass composite walls. They tiled it. Right there is our shower head, our valve, and our tub filler. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I would want the door in here because it would be really tight. And then we have our Vegas window. But if you're taking a shower and you have the glass enclosure, I mean, it, it's pretty nice looking out there. I just know it is Vegas, but not everyone wants to put on a free show. So far, pretty nice. Coming on into our loft space. Again, you could do this as a bedroom. Wow, the views. I'll go up to the window here so you can see it as well. I feel like this room would be a little on the smaller side, probably even smaller than that room over there. I feel like most people would probably want the loft, but coming on over here, look at this. It's really cool. And again, you can even see the lake from here. It's right there. I know I have it on like ultra wide angle so I can get as much as I can in view. And then again, they did the can lighting in here. So extra lighting, there's one, there's a total of what? One, two, three, four are the extras. And then there's two in the hall as well. Coming on out, we have our, before we get to laundry. Oh, cool, I can show you that box. We have our linen closet and then all of those lines for the ethernet and cable all connect here. And then you put your router and modem in here. Right here we have our laundry room and it's pretty good size. It's, it's deeper than standard because you can easily fit a linen basket right here, a hamper. Now, again, pretty much everything's upgraded here. Flooring's upgraded. You have the cabinets that are upgraded. Those uppers would just normally be a shelf. Now, with Flooring, you're gonna get carpet throughout the house. You're gonna get hard surface flooring only in kitchen, laundry, bed or bathroom and entry. Coming on into the master. So this is nice. King size, yeah, king size bed, two nightstands. That window opens, that window opens. Again, they did the can lighting in here. Now, the way you get the bigger house, that larger square footage, you can get the balcony as standard I don't know if those sliders are standard. It's probably just a single door. These are probably upgraded just a bit. But if you want to have a bigger bedroom, you can ditch the balcony and they'll build it all the way out. So you gain what, 
five square feet or five feet by, I don't know, you probably gain like 70, no, not seven. Yeah. Yeah. You probably gain about what? Five by 12, maybe even a little bit bigger. Yeah. Probably 70 or so square feet. I don't know. I feel like, especially with this, could you imagine waking up drinking coffee? Just that those are your views. Mm, I think I would want the balcony. Let me know what you guys would do. Would you do the balcony or would you do the bigger bedroom? Heading into the bathroom. Nice shower. So <laughs> nothing standard. Flooring is upgraded again. Same countertops, same cabinets. This is really nice. So I think they even have the ability to do the picture frame mirrors if you want. So one thing to note, and again, when you're doing your walkthrough, if you're buying new, I always go to my walkthroughs. Make sure you walk it, because obviously it's been touched up, but they didn't do the best job. You want to walk it, make sure that the home is the way you want to take delivery of it. I always go to my walkthroughs with all my buyers. Now this, nothing is normal about this. Normally it's separate tub, separate shower, all fiberglass composite. You can upgrade to tile and then you can do this. And this is the way to do it. I know, I know, I am already hearing most people will want the bathtub. Again, fiance is the same way, but we have our tiling off area. I just wish, I, well, I like this idea, how they have the little totes for our towels. I just wish there was a towel rod. Now they tiled everything. They have the door. And someone made a really good point about this because I know I like it when there's no door but someone mentioned in the comments that they would want the door because it holds all of the hot air in here and I, I agree I mean it does get cold out here it does even snow out here every once in a while here's our valves which is awesome you don't have to go into the cold water to get them you have your shower head and you have your rain shower head they tiled this whole thing minus the ceiling awesome 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 shower Spinning on into our closet, we have a lot of potential. So single all the way around. I know the door is gonna open this way, but there's plenty of room in here and I really like the lights they did in here. I don't know if those are standard, probably not. But again, you could really do this up. It's not the biggest closet I've ever seen, but again, really, really nice size master closet. Just with a lot of potential. Right here we have our toilet area. Not bad. Let's go ahead and head on down. I'll even go out back. Now again, do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. Again, all my contact info down in the description below. So heading on down. The railings really make like a world of difference instead of the pony wall. It just makes the room feel so much bigger. Coming on down and into the kitchen. And I know, I'll, if you haven't seen that other one with the eight foot ceilings, it really makes a difference. It's open. I mean, I know it's a little bit tighter. This isn't a huge house. We're at what, just under 1800 square feet, but it's a really good use of space. Let's go out back real quick. Now, normally you're not gonna get both sliders. They optioned up, obviously. They've put a lot of money in this house. And like I say in all my tours, again, when you buy new, you need to budget for the backyard. Oh, can we not go out? Let's see. There we go, it just was sticking. Now, this backyard, you're not gonna spend on average 13 to $15,000 like in most homes. Because Oh, you know what, I take it back. Maybe I spoke too soon. But they did a nice job out here. They even added the stone on the pillars. You will get the covered patio because that's part of the balcony. Even if you extend the uh, master out, you still get this covered patio. The stone, no. But they did a nice job on this. We have all of the landscaping, we have rock, we have the synthetic. I love this backyard. I know it's a little bit on the smaller side. Again, budget for it because all of this is going to be dirt and average backyard is somewhere between. 13 to $15,000, but I was not expecting this whatsoever. This is actually a really nice size yard. I thought it was just gonna be like three feet. They did the fire pit and I mean, you could do a nice jacuzzi out here. You could get this up over 15 really easily. Again, if you want to add a pool spa heater, figure 40 to $45,000 before landscaping. Coming back in, 
let's check out should we just start here no let's check out the living room and we'll come back to the dining room so we have our tv area we have double couches it's cozy we even have a little area for like our display cabinets interesting choice of like it's like metal and wood it's really really cool looking there is so much glass in this room one two those both open slider slider and a third one again normally it would just be windows but nicely done. I really am a fan of this. I'm gonna come over here so you can see from this angle. Even the, the table doesn't feel too big. The only thing, and I said it before, and I just posted it like, I don't know, three or four days ago for this one. My only complaint with this house, that's your pantry. I wish they extended it out like to the window because there would have been a nice, nice pantry or even to the light switches. It's just mm, mm, so close. We have our overhang, but before we check out the kitchen, right here is our dining area. Again, what you're gonna get is just the two lights. They added an extra one for a chandelier. And that's a six person dining table. Now it's pretty long and skinny, but it fits really well. We have like three feet on this side and almost three feet on this side. No, we have more. I'm impressed. Really, really impressed. The only thing again, small pantry. So, so close. They even have our overhang, and one of my favorite stones, the white with the gray paint. I love this color combo. They did the pendant lighting as well. Again, a lot of these options, they keep putting them in. I'm gonna figure this probably has, I don't know, call it $75,000, maybe even a bit more with the landscaping backyard and the lot premium. But here, actually, so see, there's like, what? Three feet of space here. Even if we had come to and we had the lights, just, mm. here's our pantry. And oh, wow, I was not expecting it to be full. But nonetheless, if we spin into the island, we'll come back to the countertops. Oh, they even did nice. Now this is probably the only soft closing. They did the trash cans. Oh, it was not, ooh, take it back. We have our half double basin under mounted sink. Here's your view. This would never get old. I'd watch, I would wash dishes all the time. Again, I don't think you can see it, but I can see the lake. Wow. We spin back around. We have our dishwasher. We have all of our lowers. Again, they did the backsplash. They did the lighting underneath. They did the 42 inch uppers. Now they will put the cover on that. They're just obviously touching things up. Right here we have our five burner cooktop. They tiled all the way to the vent hood. Normally you're gonna get a microwave right here. Now again, they opted up. We have more uppers. I love the lighting, especially with this tile they chose. I want this just for like night lighting. I love that look. I'm gonna back up a little bit more so you can see. Now they opted for this. Normally you're gonna have more counter space right here because you'll have an uh, oven stove combo. They did the oven, they did the convection microwave. They have the uppers and we have our refrigerator. All in all, let me know what you think about this one. I really like this. I like the colors they picked. Sometimes I'm not the biggest gray fan because I feel like it's too modern, but they did a really, really spectacular job on this one. And the view, I mean, the view doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> again, let me know what you think about this one. If you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. Again, all my contact info down below. Again, I would love to hear from you. Love to help you out in any way possible, whether it's new, resale, anything in between. And again, do me that huge, huge, huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really, really helps out the channel. We're over 45,000, or 45,000 someday, 4,500 subscribers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.